Hi all, welcome to this further Bremen predictions video for the ratings. I would say Bremen is likely to experience quite a bit of change, mainly due to the poor season that they had where they were fighting to stay up compared to obviously recent seasons. If you can smash links, would be awesome. Sub to the channel if you are new. Follow me on Twitter at G is Iden. All the links are down below for posts on the channel and social media links as always. And comment down below. Um, who do you think is going to get an upgrade, a downgrade, stay the same with in Werder Bremen. So for me, Werder Bremen, um, starting off in net with Pavlenka, I would imagine he might experience a downgrade. Yes, he may have had a man in the match, but I still feel for the whole season as a whole, he will go from an 84 to an 83. When you're just doing enough to stay up, it's a bit hard to convince um, justifying having a half decent rating um, even though he's a rival goalkeeper but obviously the team had a lot of things going against it this season um, Toprak um, downgrade of 2 from a 79 to a 77 just to mix the variables really uh, for him and that's kind of where my um, reasoning and logic is with him um, Augustinson despite buying a hero card um, courtesy of his playoff performance it's still not going to be enough for him over the whole season I feel just downgrade of 1 seems most logical I can't really see anything that would convince me to kind of even keep him as he is but we know what FIFA can be like sometimes with their predictions Moisander, downgrade of 1 as well just a mix of variables as well, game time, injuries um, all those kind of variables, lead position so all the usual variables in Moisander's case for him. Gebre Salasi, I've just kept as he is. He's one of the few that's the ex exception, just keeping as he is just enough game time. There is an outside shoot actually to kind of give him a plus one. Because he did get a few goals, I think it was a couple of assists as well from right back. But as a whole, I wouldn't personally justify upgrade. Um, doing really much with him if I'm honest. Uh, Maximilian Eggstein um, obviously has a foot birthday card, that's about it in terms of specials, but he was still kind of one of the bright spots within the team. Not too much of a light, um, obviously not, not kicking on completely compared to like last year for example, but still for me, I would keep as he is. I'm not convinced enough to downgrade them or upgrade them in any shape or form. Davy Klassen is probably one of the bright spots of the whole team season with his goals and assists return, doing a lot of work in midfield to try his hardest to keep the team up. And as a result, I feel he justifies an upgrade of plus two. He will probably go, if he does go to an 82, it's what he used to be when he joined Everton. Now I would suspect though that this version could be a non-rare 82. Um, but see what happens though, but I feel he is worthy of an upgrade um, for his whole season performance. He was quite a, lot, like, a very impressive performer in the 1920 season. So I would definitely um, say that he is worthy of like given an upgrade and like sometimes you've got to kind of say to yourself do you do it do you not but as I say when you've got um, 9 goals and 7 assists over the entire season that includes League and Cup by the way so that's kind of why we're saying it uh, Ben Court, I am of the mindset to keep him as he is um, but you could also see a case for him going up one as well, which we're kind of going with just minor upgrades, I'd suspect, probably just um, if he was to just go up one marginally, they might just do shooting, passing and dribbling, but I feel plus one seems reasonable. Um, Milo Rashika, um, plus two for him in our bright spot within the team is due potential for a transfer out from Fanon of Ferda Bremen. Um, they're not sure where yet. There is talk of a number of teams looking at him. And obviously, yes, he had a shapeshifter, which is non-performance related, but he um, did have a very impressive season regardless. Asako, 
tried his hardest for the team and obviously despite how the team finished he is another one that's worth an upgrade um, kind of laid the line most of the season and we've decided to give him a plus two you could even just go plus one if you wanted but he is definitely worth an upgrade due to how he performed over the season Phil Krug you've got a case for downgrading him one but we've kept him as he is um, just a mix of um, lack of game time injuries and so forth for him is the main reasoning for that um, on to the subs and reserves, you've got Capino, just keeping him as he is, I'm not convinced enough to upgrade him or downgrade him or keep him as he, just keep him as he is, mainly because of lack of game time really, you could see a case for downgrading him, but it comes down to your discretion, Belkovic just kept as he is, you've got a case as well to kind of downgrade him, but I was like... Do I downgrade them? Do I keep them as he is? Um, but I thought it's each their own. I was like, I thought I might as well just keep them as he is. Eggstein, I thought um, this is Johannes Eggstein, this is his brother. Just kept as he is. Not done enough to kind of justify anything really. So I was like, I thought keep him as he is. Um, Mowald did from a 75 to a 73, just a mix of variables from lack of game time injuries and so forth. Then to the Bulgarian mid young midfielder um, Gruev, just kept as he is, not really done anything to kind of say upgrade, downgrade, any of that nature. Usually when you're a youngster and you're not really playing, yet yeah, you're playing through the first team, you're part of the first team squad, it's sometimes you don't really get anything going your way. Um, Sergeant upgrade of four, mainly due to like game time for him, that's kind of, um, kind of trying to establish himself within the team and I feel he's done just enough to kind of merit an uh, upgrade. He may not go as high as four, he may even go a bit less. I've just tried to be um, quite realistic but honest with him as well. Davy Selke, downgrade for him, going from a 77 to a 76. Not really done much for the team since joining him, I'm afraid. And we'll go from a rare to a non-rare. Martin Harnick going from a 75 gold to a 74, um, even though he was on loan at Hamburg, he did spend quite a bit of time on the bench there as well, which will play a factor in this. Then others like Schmidt and Cross, I would personally say the um, Agu and Usabuti, these players will probably stay the same, There's, I'm not really seeing enough to convince me that any of these four players and also you've got to remember that the sometimes the second team for Verde Bremen was a couple of years ago was in FIFA 20 and um, was in FIFA sorry not in FIFA 20 try that again so you had to kind of work with the team in general and um, you know some of the youngsters kick, like kicking through so you had to be like oh this player's in FIFA and this player's not in FIFA and not part of the first team in that, so you had to kind of factor that in, um, in as well. But it's like the youngsters, like it comes down to who's actually still part of the team come FIFA like 21. Because I noticed this with a lot of the um, German teams, especially where they've got such like vast like academy players that are registered in the first team. But some of them either end up on loan or they've been released or they're still part of the club but when you try and look for them in the records there's nothing there to work with so I suspect we'll have the same again there'll be a flow of like bronzes within the team to kind of keep you ticking over um, that you can buy on the cheap you'll have a steady flow of silvers um, that'll be part of the first team but I suspect they're going to spend some good money to try and get the team back up to where they expect to be. But also that may mean that players like Klassen and Rashika potentially could be seen as, and Eggstein could be seen as players that could be going out to generate funds as it were. But you never know. But that's kind of where we're going with Werder Bremen. So let me know in the comments down below, do you feel um, harsh on Bremen? Do you feel I need to do a bit, should range be a bit lower or higher? Um, for those that have been upgraded, downgraded and kept the same. So let me know in the comments on that. Smash like, so always folks, sub to the channel if you're new and I will catch you all later.